For more than two years, we dreamed of traveling the world powered by wind and sail. Now we take our first steps in chasing that dream aboard our new floating home. We are Daniel and Paige. Together with our seven-year-old Great Dane Winston, we have embarked on a journey of exploration and adventure. This week, we share how we are preparing Winston for his path to becoming a salty sailing dog. We get a lot of questions about how Winston fits on this boat and how we make this happen. To be honest, we're still kind of figuring out most of that. The number one question is... Like, you guys must have a really big boat. (laughs) And while we do have a catamaran, I don't think it's that big. Yeah, so this is Plot Twist. She is a 2005 Sea Wind 1160. So 38 feet from stem to stern. You know, the next thing it is the big thing whenever you have any kind of pet on board is how do they go potty? But we put a some astroturf on the trampolines and we've been encouraging Winston to go potty. Winston, go potty. He has pottied once. Yeah, now we just need to repeat performance. And then, you know, there's always the question of safety. You know, he is a big, somewhat clumsy animal. Um, so having a proper life jacket and tethering him in uh, is is important. He doesn't really care to swim, which is kind of our benefit because he's not necessarily going to jump into the water. Yeah. So that's that's nice. Uh, moving around on deck, uh, you know, th- there there are a lot of tripping hazards on the boat. Oh uh, yeah, and and he doesn't see very well. but he's actually moving around very confidently. Um, he's actually just over there right now. Yeah. He's swinging it around. Yep. So he's just chilling out. He's a very confident dog. You know, a lot of Great Danes have known, been known to be very timid, but mm-hmm. not Winston. Yeah, he's, he's very excited about being here. He loves it when we have the doors open mm-hmm. and he can just roam about as he pleases. So that's, that's really nice. Yeah. You know, the doors open is just one big dog house. The interior stairs down into the hulls, Uh, they're kind of steep-ish, but there's not a lot of them. And he seems to handle them pretty well, going Mm -hmm. up and down, if he's not too terribly excited. We did Uh, put some grip tape on him, so uh, that's an 80 grit tape, so that he um, has, you know, he doesn't slip, Uh, or we we don't slip. We still slip, I mean. But I, um, I'm not real crazy about the 80 grit sandpaper on the steps. It's a little industrial looking. Yeah, well, it also tears up my feet. Yeah. So. But that might be changing to something a little bit softer, like yeah. a carpet. But we'll still appreciate your comments on what you guys do. Seriously. So. <laughs> One of the reasons why we got this boat is because we thought that Winston would be able to get on and off the boat pretty easily, especially with the shallow transom, mm-hmm. a.k.a. sugar scoops. So that was a big thing for us, although at where we are uh, docked right now, we're on a side dock. So that means that Winston can't access the back of the boat. He has to access it from the side. He He'd just already, wanted to jump into the boat. Yeah, he had already that. gotten so used to coming up from the deck, from the dock, into the boat. It just It's like jumping up into the back of the car for him. So yeah. he's so yeah. used to it already. Uh, another thing that helps Winston move around on deck is to have regular pedicures. Mm-hmm. We want to keep Winston's nails trimmed. Uh, that way mm-hmm. he'll be able to grip it with his actual pads. A little bit better. Uh, the great thing about um, Great Danes is that you can't use the snipper clippy things on them, so you no, get he's to too big. no, so you get to dremel them. Winston's bowl also has to be <laughs> elevated. We're really limited on space in the, in a plot twist, yeah. so where we've uh, designated this one area that has this little table and that's where his mess is yeah. at perfect height for yeah. him. And I guess sort of the, the one of the big things that we've been trying to conquer over the last couple of weeks is getting in and out of the dinghy. All right, so we have a few concerns about Winston and the boat. We'll be honest with you. We have a Winston uh, getting on the boat. That was easy to overcome. Uh, we and now we're looking at Winston uh, at getting in the dinghy. Uh, we want to make sure that Winston can get on and off this dinghy comfortably, easily. It might take a few tries. He might get it on the first try. Um, 
but we're about to find out. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Okay. Here you go, Winston. Good boy. Yeah, go Come on. on. Come on, Winston. You got it. That's a good boy. There we go. All the way. Come on. There's a good Winston. Now we put the life jacket on him. Even though we're not going anywhere right now, we want the life jacket on him anytime that he's in the dinghy. He falls over. I don't want to. I want him to be able to handle it. Winston. I guess I should get in the dinghy too. So we, sure. all, we should all be able to fit. Well, we're all going to fit, no doubt. Yeah. That is not too bad, Winston. You're doing good. All right, let's get off. So we're waiting. Wait. Winston, go ahead. Up, up. Come on, Winston. Up, up. Good There's boy. a good Winston. All right, come on. On board. Winston, on board. You can do it. Come on. He'll get it. He'll figure it out. Yeah, it's the first couple of times. Yeah. Ready to up, up? Winston, here. Come on. Up, up. That's a good boy. Okay. Come on, Winston. Come here. Now just put your front paws up first. Here. You can't get all four paws on the rail, buddy. Winston, here, come on. Come on, Winston. That's a good boy. All right, on board. Come on. Come on, on board. There we There's go. There's a good boy. good boy. Yeah, good boy. You're getting, that was even better. Side. Come on, Winston. Winston, over here. He's a good Winston. Ah, okay. He's a good boy. It could have gone better. I thought it could have gone worse. A lot worse. So I think just with some some more practice, doing this a few more times, we'll have to get out of here and uh, keep practicing so that he's more comfortable and confident. Don't you think? That's what we're right. Good boy. in and out of the dinghy it was a whole process hi winston, hey, winston. knew we were talking about yes, you huh? you did <laughs> but we got him in and out of the dinghy yeah and then we also um had the you know had daniel turn on the dinghy and had him go in and out of the dinghy so he's comfortable with the sound and then we took off and we did a little trip around the marina so that was actually really nice are we gonna be a salty dog we're gonna go on a dinghy ride winston we gotta get your life jacket on first for those of you who are not terribly familiar with dinghies and their purpose, you know, if if the boat is your house, the dinghy is your car. It's what's gonna... I'm sorry, oh. you have to see this. Like, isn't that just precious? The dinghy is, uh, it's a vital piece of equipment for us as liveaboards because it takes us from our boat on anchor to shore, to you know, a dock to get provisions and supplies. So making sure that Winston's comfortable and able to get in and out of the dinghy is critical. That's a good boy. Good boy, Winston. He's very graceful. He's very graceful. Maybe a little more graceful than we are. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna clip him in to here. Sounds good. All right, so I, I need to I untie us. Untie them off. This is our first tie out. All right, go ahead and shove us off. We are free. There's our home, Winston. There's our home. Did you check the gas? Oh yeah, it was a pretty full tank. Okay. We also have oars. She does drive nicely. Yes, 
Winston is sitting in Daniel's lap. Yep. What do you think, Winston? That's a good boy. Can you imagine doing this in waves, though? <laughs> We're just gonna have to do more of them. He is a salty dog in training. Mm -hmm. We are moving in the right direction. He is excited to be pretty much wherever we are. And I think I think he likes us. Yeah, he likes being outside. He likes this outside lifestyle. <clears throat> All right, see you in a little bit.